Hello! We are back again once more with Final Fantasy IV Rain. And we will still be continuing to catch up with some more story. Since the last stream we caught up with like story with like the glowing a uh, growing light story part, which I was think I were uh, the patch update 6.3 or 6.4, one of these two. Oh. Mm. Thinking about it, 6.4 is probably most likely. Um. Yeah. So we still got like 6.5 story to catch up on. <laughs> um. With that being said, what we finished was the story part of um, yeah, us finishing, at least for now, finishing the whole story part about the 13th and Golbus and everything. And now I got on like a bit more of a transition quest towards Dawn Trail. But I'm guessing will be the continuation part. Like, we've already had the setup of a few characters, and then probably they like showing and telling us um, what our like plans will be. So yeah, you're gonna check that out definitely. Yep, we also have Cry in the picture, and I forgot what he he was called. Uh, but it will also be important for Dawn Trail, so yeah. Ah, Tamamo, one of my clerks was just here with a message for you. The students of Bethesian request your presence in Charlian at your earliest convenience. I'm glad as I am to your friends, I had hoped that I too might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. If you have no pressing business, pray make your way to the Padesian Annex at once. Ujika awaits your arrival. In the meantime, I shall continue showing Ashtar the city. From notable landmarks to the people's lives, there is still much and more for her to see. I'm wondering if we will like ever see Ashtaya really grown up again. Farewell for now, my friend. I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. It might be soon, it might be later. Who knows, actually. At least I don't. So, back to Shardian once more. So let's see what the chicken and probably especially the cry will have for us. A warm hearty welcome to you, Tamamo. I guess we received our message. You be good. Please wait here while I fetch cry and cra. Ooh, cra is there as well. Why not? Cry also coming with like a different hairstyle. Interesting. Thank you for coming on such short notice and forgive us for sending for you so soon after your trials in the void. Now then, we aren't actually the ones who require your presence, but Aaron, why? He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. Imagine you're as uh, surprised as we are, given that he was supposed to be away on a long expedition. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is there is someone whom he wishes Tamamo to meet. He also mentioned that he would be tending to business at the studio. 
Shall we look for him there? <laughs> You're not even waving bad. Uh, bad. Back. This is a bit faster. Now oh, then, where is Ernvai? Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... <laughs> but it seems you've lost her. Did she wander off? <sighs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This is her. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. I'm Utlamat, claimant to the throne of Tuli Hyola. Tuli Hyola, okay. That sounds weird how she brought that, but okay. It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> I think an explanation would be good for us, not gonna lie. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite of Succession. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. And why should we be there? As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. <laughs> well, we did that, but <laughs> it's just kind of weird to be called like that. She asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. <laughs> well, thanks, Aramil. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who rule in Toral? Tuli Hyolal is a nation of many peoples, not only the Mamulsha, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulsha, and one blessed with two heads besides. <laughs> okay. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously. 
but he raised me as his own, and that's what matters. So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. Hardly. I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. Ah, uh, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. At least he is reasonable, if not, as she said, quite eager. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. True, I guess. Now, this is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valley Armanda. Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. I mean, I guess she has a bit of my attention, but Golden City, I've heard about it before, definitely. Not the first time that it was mentioned. So the tales have reached even these shores. I <laughs> can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden Cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. <laughs> Tuli Yolal and the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. I'm surprised, like, no one picked up what Gryer just said. So, let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. <laughs> oh, okay. In terms of complementary uh, uh, no, that's in the wrong class, right? The chance to see not only Tural, but the favorite golden city besides. This is the stuff of Grand Adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. I'm not certain what might be a suitable location for her hand, however. When I was at the guild earlier, I learned about a petition from researchers on the Isle of Ham. We went there not long ago and cut some unruly fauna, of course, but according to recent reports, other ordinary docile fauna have grown savage. I believe they've been unsettled by some manner of predator, and so the researchers seek assistance with identifying and dispatching it. As part of your hunt, perhaps you might answer the petition. The ice and fire, and we should also be and we would also be helping those in need. That works for me. Just so you know, I found my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Tora. Whatever this creature is, it had better be able to put up a proper fight, or it will end before we have the chance to get acquainted. And before we can provide ourselves cable and dependable companions... My apologies, but I must see to some preparations. Break on ahead to the eye. I will join you as soon as possible. I 
If most of you are ready, let us head to the harbor. This, be, uh, this being good ship business, it should be simply enough to secure a vessel. <laughs> okay, speak with a rare. I want to look at over a little minstrel. Yeah, I have actually have to check what kind of side quests and like files I've missed to unlock and everything. It seems to have been quite a bit actually to unlock some stuff with. Also, we're gonna be handling. Mm. Let's just shoot a summoner for a bit. Why not? Bombarding ships are cutting into a blade in secret. This week around it is set aside sufficient time to free the scenes and the entirely. Um, I'm guessing we'll have more than enough time. Okay. I don't know, 660. We'll do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit behind on item level. Wait, wait for a moment before I do this. Actually, what is my item level? My okay, my white mage and scholar are not very much better. <laughs> I guess I should update my gear a bit. I also barely reached a uh, minimum item level for the goblins fight, now that I think about it. The question is, do I have some money we able to probably gear up for a bit? Mm. Because... Uh, I don't think I will have enough tombstone, will I? Maybe for one or two pieces. Mm -hmm. Wait, what I'm actually currently having is still like the highest area I can buy. Well, I haven't upgraded my weapon in a while, so I could definitely do that. Mm. Where is the summoner? Summoner. Am I blind? I feel like I really am blind. What the hell? Alright. 
All right, it still counts as the Arcanist, not as the Scholar. Forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Do I have the book on my Clamor Blade? Yes, I do. So, any critical hit material? Nope. Actually, out on a good critical hit material. I do have cracked stellar clusters, though. Then. Wait. Do I have a material mender? There we go. Ah, oh, I don't have to just I need though. Okay. Just give me two. Uh, a little more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that end. I'm not gonna put much more money into gearing up. This is really, uh, it's not really that much needed. And also still have like great gear on my accessory source at least. It might be a bit older raid gear, but hey, better than nothing. Rivals even Yoktural. I was not sure if it's still like we probably might do some of the rotation, but hey. <laughs> oh, white bear! I wonder what it tastes like. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. I know. I know. So this is the aisle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. Do 
You really are knowledgeable. Krona told me nothing about this place. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlia. He has. Kona's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in the city. Raise him, madam. He went on and on about technological amusements. It made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. Hmm? He is right about her. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Not unexpected. Being Nikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. You're even more of a weird case, Krah. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain... Hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. Searcher should be just ahead. Okay. There. The building to the northeast. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. I'm somewhat still remembering the rotation. Look, someone's in trouble. Yeah, taste my ass. Uh, right. These animals are usually so docile. I'm not gonna use my Phoenix yet. Not worth it. Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You have time about the adventure will save our star. Whether well, our meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here, then I, when I suddenly found myself surrounded. 
You find more of the same across the chasm. One stores are animals grown strangely aggressive. My colleagues there can tell you more. If you give me just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. You really are famous. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> We <laughs> quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. The ginger uh, come to answer my petition, I presume. We are most fortunate to have one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origin has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected the local fauna. The animals beyond this gate are the worst affected we've encountered thus far, though we dare not go back. Your task is to create any threats you find and search for traces of the beast responsible for all of this. If you would find anything, anything at all, we would be most grateful if you would share it with us. Oh. I'll handle this. Come on, let's pick up the creature's trail. You find ravaged beast remains, torn with shreds by sharp talons. These claw marks. I've seen the like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. I guess I'm just following them. No, oh, I'm doing fine. How about you? Oh, feathers. You find feathers are scattered by the crown. There's signs of a feast struggle. Do they belong to the predator or the prey? Probably the prey. So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat. <laughs> Hook seems to love fighting, I would guess. Am I supposed to find any? Ah, there's something over there. The clawing... Yeah, growing a stench of fresh leavings assay your nostrils. Whatever beast left them is likely still close by. Fresh. Whatever this beast is, it cannot be far. Behind us. Great. Fighting as a summer is a bit nicer for at least like taking off trash ropes and for like a healer. Sharp talons, <laughs> worthy prey. She's way too happy about it.
<laughs> a giant colibri? What the fuck? It's probably just mimicking um, the speech. It's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wachlamat. Right. We <laughs> This is actually quite cool. <laughs> Flop. Just so we're clear, I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. <laughs> Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit! Literally perfect timing. Rescue. I'm not sure this is just one to keep telling you. Easy.
Nothing to it. Ah, okay. Now we can actually go. For us, bad. <laughs> it just keeps moving in wood all the time. a terrible foe but no match for your axe oh my spells oh I, I summons river in this case oh, only to be expected you were pretty impressive yourselves i was right to invite you on a hunt What a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? Aye, dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have easily... <laughs> to me mm -hmm. first showcase of the picture man so oh nice <laughs> they're not a, a much impressive showcase come on Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. Mm, yep, you did. <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. That's Aww. what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. 
As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. But I suddenly appearing with a completely new class, which you can't even play yet since we will have to wait for Dawn Trail for the Pictomancer to unlock it. Ah, <sighs> mean cryo. <laughs> and after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, Pictomancy. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. Oh well, great to serve stuff. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes. There is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A uh, Gulul, someone. Jaja. Gulul Jaja. That's my father, Idan's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Interesting. Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Torijolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. Okay. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Aorsian. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. <laughs> okay. So, was someone impersonated? Her father. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank right. you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. Maybe it was just a dictation. Okay. <laughs> my guess immediately disproven. Thanks, game. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. <laughs> We're 
consider eating that. Why not? With the wildlife pacified and the researchers safe, our task is complete. Let us leave the matter of the colobry meat. For better or for worse, there we, there's really only one place we can take it to here in Shalian. The last stand. Come, let's see what Digging can cook up for us. Food time! Okay, is a craft a uh, mission? You're probably about gold was extreme. Or zero most extreme in this case, yep. Okay, you can skip that. We might fight zero moves extreme another time definitely not today um i mean i'm not sure what you will be about but i will leave you be for now Well now, there's a famished face of our Simon. What can I get you, Tamamo? Oh, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me, I have just a recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from the sailors, and for you lot, it's on the house. Have as much as you like, you hear? Sweet. Free food and... Especially made food for one. How can you say no? Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Hmm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah, if it smells spicy, then it's just good. <laughs> oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. Wait. I feel like this was a thing we did before in the story. <laughs> so he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Shalian. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I just wanted to say, I, I feel wondering, you seem like they were, they've been like friends for a while, but you only just recently got onto the expedition. I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. Oh, come on, Erinville. 
<laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. I was always triggering me if they use peoples as a plural for people. This is people or this is a plural, but they made it here on purpose. <laughs> Still, it's kind of triggering me. <laughs> the fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliola came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old. And he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. That would be bad for us. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. Hmm. Interesting. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures. And there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill. But more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? I'm not sure what we did that she like actually could probably judge our character besides from like stories um, we'll taught her, but huh. You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I'm not surprised that she was after the food. Baba Book Lamad has the makings of a ruler I couldn't say, but I do know that she deeply cares for her nation and her people. 
If you choose to help below, it's for you and you alone to decide. Think out it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission success to the guild ship. I would have done so sooner, except her highness needed to have her right on me. I shall come by the annex later. Till then. Mm. Here is good speed. Good speed. Yeah, sure. Well, let us say we now have a fair crest of Wuglamard situation. Still, you've been afforded time to consider invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tural? Numenon is bound to have some information on the continent. It certainly wouldn't hurt to be better informed. Definitely. Quite right. Not only would it help you to make an informed decision, but if you do choose to go, you would be better prepared for what awaits. Come on friend, let us be off to the archives. Actually, use this to tell about her. Hello, pudding, Ray. <laughs> also, quite nice that the Lopers are also now. Just chilling around in like Charlie and everywhere else. Blue cover book. The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practice of the Wallachy, a tribe in the distant continent of Tuar. Hmm. Yeah, right, that's true. I did it, uh, it is like part of like the blue mage quest a bit. The tribe holds nature in the highest, and in seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it, they have learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train in their ways. Those days were some of the most cruelling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Labis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is named for the cerulean deposits that welds up to the surface turned the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under Shaman's watchful eye, I finally managed to master the Wallachy's art and make the animal's powers my own. So no name existed for it in the common tongue. I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. The reason I choose this color, as you will have doubtless gleamed, is for the significance it holds for the Wallachy. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people from whom the snowball magic was born. <laughs> Actually, quite like it that they're like giving the blue mage class <laughs> now a bit of extra lore in the story. I kind of like that. <laughs> I haven't played like blue mage in a long while. Lines in the sand, the geopolitics of Heidelin. Let us begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of the three great continents in Tural. The former stretches um, from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and south hemispheres, and the different in, difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentle, gentler when moving east and west, but harsher when moving north and south. Owing to this fact, l longitudinal migration is far more common in history, whether it be by men, animals or plants. 
A case in point is the elegance who rose to power in Ardenna before advancing east into Isabard. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Galleons. Meanwhile, although the disparate tribes of Tural waged war with one another for generations, stimulated by the climate, none could make any great headway in north or south. Tribes hailing from the frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun, while those who thrived in the open plains could not pierce and shangle. Such was the way of it until the leader of the Mormol Jar succeeded in bringing the Conin under one banner. Given the lands, the divided history, and the reason, therefore, one cannot tell but be in awe of this feat. Truly, it is a testament of the Altarch's greatness. Okay, what about next? The floor and fun of Tural. Every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent of Tural is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many and more exist that are rarely seen this side of the Indigo Deep. The storm introduces a select variety of species as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. A Blagda, accustomed to Tural's cracking mountain ranges, this four-legged beastkin has been dom domesticated for seemingly hundreds if not thousands of years. The soft white fleece is highly prized by weavers, while the strong legs and sure footedness makes them capable beasts of burn. Weaver, this ferocious gaikin, is native to the dense jungles of Tuval. The Mamoja have succeeded in taming them and utilized their prodigious, uh, prodigious strengths for manual labor. Given their mannerism, size, and power, it should come as no surprise that Reef is also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications cannot long withstand this horned brute rampage. Valigamanda, Trolley folklore holds that this bird like creature is the mightiest of bees and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. I'm getting annoyed of like these advertisements in the in game chat. <laughs> Uh, I think it's... Yeah, short commands. Okay. Eros in Cuisine, a history. It is impossible to adequately discuss Eros in Cuisine without speaking uh, speaking of that land from which many of our modern-day stables hail, the far western continent of Turan. Orgre, pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquit ubiquitous popoto. These crops and more that regularly grace Eros and dining tables trace their origins to the new world as the place is known to most. A tale of this culinary immigration because the year of 1498 of the 6th Astro era, when a Luminsen sailor named Kadanram successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at a therefore unknown continent. Kadanram spent several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mamolja. He was even granted an audience with the supreme leader, whose confidence he won along with permission to roam freely. Kadaram would return to Tura several times, but during his first expedition he charted the land and gathered myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa Lominsa. The most notable of these was the Popoto, whose ease of cultivation and natural value saw it quickly spread to all corners of Eorzea. Produce was far from the only bounty of Catamaran's expedition to Tora. Many tantalizing recipes such as the bean-filled burrito and gripping legends such as of that of the Golden City reached our shores by way of his ship. To those sides of, of Catamaran's circle, Tora largely remains shrouded in mystery. Yet its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in the culinary culture of the far away continent. Not gonna lie, I would also be so interested. Uh, like, 
tasting and testing the cuisine. Scout a library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. Why are there a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Toral? I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. But come, let's continue this outside. The mammals do not take kindly to chatter. Now then, I'm quite keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same book on Christine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Tural within. This immediately reminds me of the shot of Krahatia eating a taco in the Dawn Tray uh, Dawn Tray trailer. <laughs> because this also looks quite funny how he's trying to eat it. <laughs> Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? I was rather taken with the tale of Cataram. For Portos. Oh, yeah, if you found preparation for them, or... Ah, uh, well, the dishes of gold. Mm. But I have Captain Ram, I would say. Ah, uh, yes, the renowned Lumens and Explorer will traverse the Indigo Deep and discover the unknown West. And his accomplishments didn't end there. He traveled to all extensively and even forged a friendship with the Dawn Servant. If we were able to meet Cadenram, what bring what things we could learn? Alas, all of this happened nigh four score years, score years ago. And he may no longer be alive to tell his tales. But moving on, did you perchance learn all about the fauna of Tural? Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. Mm, we learned about Reefers. Ah yes, the great horned beasts kept by the Mamoja who unleashed them on the fortified positions to devastating effect. That reminds me I recall hearing a few specimens were brought to Wilbrand not long ago. Perhaps it's possible to see them on the island. Oh, I heard familiar voices. Hey, hello there, Alice and off and all. Fancy running into, two, into the two of you here. Well, well, have some research of your own, do you? Aye, we hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may benefit the Gallian people. Having forged a new trade equipment with Rasat Han, they will next look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints in history on how neighbors of differing races and uh, in priorities might engage with one another. Well, about that, we have a prime example for you right at our doorsteps. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing we're also immediately giving the motivation to join us to turn uh, to yeah, what of the two of you? What endeavor brings you here uh, this day? A nation composed of the disparate peoples of Tural. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We do well to read up on to the Yola ourselves. The contest is Tamo the only one allowed to have Buklamat. There was no mention of such restrictions, as I recall. On the contrary, Buklamat gave us the impression that she could have several champions. I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, of a note, we have planning to do. Yeah. Let's see, wait. <sighs> it would seem our plans have changed. If you'll excuse me.
They never could rest on their laurels. Come, let us return to the annex. Okay. I'm not by that thing, it's a little bit in front of it, I guess. I'm coming for you again. <laughs> It's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wurklamat's request? never say no to a new adventure. It's not like our decision you would make any change, so yep. <laughs> huh. I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. I like the reverencing to Heidel and hear, fear, fear, and think. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. No. Oh. Oh, Frankward. Oh. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Going to the better cinematics. Welcome back, Tamamo. If you're looking for Wuklamat, she is currently with the others in your chambers. If you like, I can go and fetch them for you. Yep, let's fetch them. Understood, please wait in the main hall. You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then, let's hear it. Uh, I've never been one to turn down an adventure. I'll do it. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. But I dare say your time in Tura will be its own reward. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? <laughs> Alpha no, Alize, what are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinvilla's toads. <laughs> A hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that. <laughs> Why, it's the best thing to mention about you, not gonna lie. <laughs> First impressions last. <laughs> He's right about that. <laughs> Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister, Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. <laughs> so, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolal, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? <laughs> it seems like he's trying to get out of this whole idea. Nonsense. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. You're strong, I. Eh? But strangers to our land, they need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. As I recall, Kryon, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. But she's still on his eyes, Earth. <laughs> still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. 
You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadel's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Raha... You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Yep. It would be a really wasted opportunity for Cryo. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. Is Fangrid going to pop in now? now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. There. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world. Created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. Okay, I kind of like it how it is like. This map, this part of the map here, which is like the bigger part of the map, is what we have been like gradually expanding from expansion to expansion and as you actually can see we have still a lot left unexplored in between but this is also already giving already a hint on how many new places we are also gonna be exploring outside of the continent here with Tur uh, Turel being over here and there's definitely another island hidden here so this will be also like a future expansion, I'm guessing. Probably also somewhere here in the south of Torel. I'm not sure if it, it looks like there might something there may something be here. Especially like the rest. The stuff surrounding Gallimold actually. Which you have like for some reason unexplored. Hmm, and we'll film kicking in. Very nice. Oh, wait, wait, actually, no, it's not the end for the theme. I may be wrong here. Okay, it is the Endwalker theme. If you're getting the Endwalker credits. <laughs> okay. Mm. I like this theme. I just want to really listen for it for a bit. I don't know, for like those watching who don't know much about Final Fantasy XIV, seeing those characters and such may not mean much for them for now, but I feel like Don't Trade is a good point to have like Stalin, where you don't like, you really need that much background knowledge to all of them. 
so I think it's still not that bad of like a point of me to start in streaming this. And maybe eventually, because there's a bit of a new game plus mode, maybe I will get around to like maybe probably play for all of the story again. Just because I also would like want to do it because I'm like some parts have been so long since I've played through it. So it would actually be bad to do it. And the animal theme is really nice. <laughs> I'm just really stalling just to listen to the theme a bit more. <laughs> okay, what are we going to skipping the rest of this now? <laughs> As you wonder about your passage to Toral, Aaron will, will arrange your ship risk it. You need only worry about your own preparations. Speaking of which, please take this with you. A rugged and ready knapsack made serve you well on your coming adventure. No, I'm not sure when departure will be, but Master Shu, I will let you know when you hear something. To them, please take uh, please take your ease. Our next episode will crazy music. Okay, <laughs> I like the description of the item. <laughs> you know, and Limsa or Luminsa. Oh, fitting, that's Limsa now. When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? To Toral. Meanwhile, not Charlie yet. <laughs> it feels like the whole gang will be going to Toronto, not gonna lie. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades, too, are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Indeed. It will be a grueling task, having to contend with them. Oh, come on, Fangred. I feel like you actually want us to come along. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. <laughs> True. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> Then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye, this will be a mission to remember. Come, my friend, we make for Tarar. I don't know, like, seeing the group do the, like, the sighting over there makes me kind of really happy. I have so much fondness for the cast of this game. Tarot. 
Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Oh, of course, a callback to Emmet Zerg. Of course. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's north. The fabled golden cities of the New World. Way anchor now, the tide is high, and dawn of a new adventure is nigh. Row forth to break horizons bond and tread the gilded path beyond. Yep. Yeah. Also, new chapters to new game plus added. <laughs> yep. Um, as I said. Even if, like, the story part with Gorbos, which I played, may have, like, been... For you, like, with a lot of missing context. Dawn Trail literally be, like, a bit of, like, a new beginning for the story, since, like, End Rogo, as the expansion's name appropriately says, was the end of one part of the story, and the new part is beginning with Dawn Trail. So with that being said, yeah, I feel like it's appropriate for me to get back into this game now, just to stream it, even if for the first part, not many may know about the story, but we still can experience Dawn Trail together without any issues. And also, as we were actually talking about it, I also might actually want to show what I'm actually excited for. Um... I'm actually like wanna like a look at a Dawn Trail trailer to go with you. I will just give me a moment. I also just have to check with the volume. I've never like probably touched the uh, volume slider for the browser yet, so it may be a bit louder to start. I just hope it won't like totally kill your ears. It's actually not pick. Right. Why is it not picking up the sound? Um. Oh wait. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, uh, Sey. Uh. No, it should pick up this. Sound. Peggy sixteen. Yep. I actually be really hyped for this. Ah, blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. <laughs> I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? And yeah, this is literally actually the main reason why I've jumped back into this game. Opponent. 
Gary is also already really interesting, not gonna lie. And what of the new clans? Also one of the new classes, the Viper, which I'm actually a bit excited for, because it looks really cool. Also this thing is cute as hell. Might you have a moment to speak further? It is already cute. <laughs> and the Viper looks really cool. I like a dual plate bl um, fighting style. Also, Kara eating taco, uh, which, I, which I mentioned earlier. <laughs> it just would really be cool if this would be proper in-game graphics. Sadly, it's not. <laughs> Also, the music. Exceptionally good again. So yeah, that's the reason why I've been jumping back into this game. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. And, well, as I said, it's coming out in summer. And before that, I just want to catch up on some, like, stuff. Because I have, like, some optional dungeon side quests and such not done yet. Which I want to do before the order trail. And that's why I'm streaming it now. In preparation for the Huntrail, also to get like people in streaming excited for it with me because I really love this game. So yeah. <laughs> and also speaking about like actually the trailer looking quite good and sadly it not being 
as you can see, the graphical and visual fidelity the game has. The game actually will do get an extensive graphical overhaul with Dawn Trail 2, so it will look like a lot more better with Dawn Trail still, even if it will not reach that level, but hey. But here. With that being said, I do know a few side quests which I actually want to get to because um, I haven't finished the Alliance Raid side quest for Endwalker yet. I also haven't done the third tier of the Pandemonium Raids yet. This is also something you want to get into. I'm not sure what the Mono Mononoke wearer is about. Mm. I will do. Actually, uh, after I'm finished with this stream today, I actually will go through like the few. Um, yeah, the uh, the patch notes of the uh, last few updates and just go through to see what new quests actually became available <laughs> for what content. Um. Because there's also like um, a crafter side quest there. I'm not that deep. Um, I don't enjoy doing crafters that much, even though I've actually some of them leveled quite a bit. Um, but that's mainly due to me having had some boredom during the pandemics, uh, which caused me to go on a big crying fest for crafters. But yeah, <laughs> that's then and uh, not now anymore. <laughs> also, yeah, it also was like doing uh, school with online schooling, where I didn't pay much attention to class because class was boring anyway. And most of the stuff I already knew anyway. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I did during school. <laughs> <laughs> but hey um, but I do know I want to prioritize the alliance raids first um, and that should be in Madonna so let's go there yeah I was in, uh, in college for a bit, but then dropped out without finishing it and then did an apprenticeship instead, but still like in the same field as like the uh, major I did. So I already had a bit of like knowledge when it came to like the topics we did in school, so. Since I like was studying computer science, I especially already had uh, more than enough of, uh, like, more than the basic knowledge of coding we actually learned in the apprenticeship and school, so yeah. Especially when it came to coding lessons, I was mostly way ahead of the others anyway. <laughs> so I didn't even need to pay, to attention, to, uh, pay attention to class at all. Because, not I'm gonna lie, in some points I was even better than our teacher, but hey. Mm, not gonna talk about that. So, the heart of the myth. But I'm honest, this is good for you to come, but I'm afraid um, there is still no word from Kraya and Krahat here. They're working as fast as they can compile the findings for our investigation, I shouldn't doubt. But between the Phantom Realms, Asteric Data, and the Monuments Epigraph, they have much more to work with you. Now, while awaiting developments, I had a uh, mind to pay Snog uh, Snogheim a visit in Omphalos. If you are not otherwise occupied, you should come to him too. Also, let me actually do a little catch up, since this is also a side quest, which is I'm actually already a bit deep in, since it's like came in bit by bit during the last updates. Um, this is a side quest focused on like um, 
the trail of different gods which like exist in Oros here, yeah, which have been more than uh, more of a myth actually. Um, and there's uh, this kind of like Omphalos realm where like the spirits do seem to kind of still exist. Um, and also historical records about them, and we've been exploring that in the side quest. And this would be like the end part. Uh, you haven't like learned that much about the the twelve, like the twelve gods in the Witcher that much yet. So I don't feel like it's like you will be miss missing that much. It's just in general. Each of the pa uh, parts of Eorzea, yeah, like, especially Ruby is one of these 12 gods. But the actual faith is not, like, that strong anymore. They are really more a thing of the past. And we're just exploring the history. Oh, if it isn't Tamamo and Derek. But no cry and Raha, I see. Unfortunately, speaking of whom, would you not prefer to be with them in Charlian? Your research is true, after all. I find myself much more effective in the field. Being here gives me inspiration, you see. And later, I have been mulling over the opening words of the epigraph. As being who endure by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. The suggestion that faith has shaped the nature of the Twelve paints a truly intriguing picture. If truth be told, I was also hoping that I might speak with the gods again. But I haven't crazed us since the time we solved the mystery of the monument. They only do so on exceptional occasion, it seems. Be that as it may, I believe there may be another way to see them. When we journeyed with the guards, as uh, Asimia told me that each of them wished to speak with you in private. You, Tamamo. If I were to call them before their heavens, I have a feeling they will answer. So, won't you give it a try? And afterwards, let us know what they said. I for once see no harm in it. But if you decline, then do not feel pressured. It is entirely your decision. I mean, you don't always get a chance to speak with God, so... And if they is especially asking for me, you know, then yeah, let's go for it. You have now opportunity to speak with those of the Twelve whom you've encountered thus far. To do so, call to them before the entrance of their respective heavens. Alright. I may advance the quest at any time by speaking with Derek and the Unfellows. I actually got to speak with all of them just so you get a bit more context about this whole side quest thing. And each of the gods. <clears throat> Heaven of Lightning Gate. Very God. Ah, Tamo, please am I that you should seek me out. I'd wish to speak with you. It does me well to see that you have been dedic uh, dedicating yourself to crafting. In my capacity as the builder, I watch your progress upon this path with keenest interest. The act of crafting embodies the spirit of improvement and um, advancement. This is my hope that will strive ever forward and seize that which you most desire with your own hands. Yep, he's like god literally like raining about um over the prospect of like building or 
to be more precise, crafting. Which you have crafter jobs for. <laughs> so this is like the bit of a tie-in into the lore. Then we have Rager. Well, well, if it is the dauntless Tamamov, who glad am I that you would thus call to me? When you and yours investigated the origins of the Fist of Raga, you posited some interesting theories. The connection between myself and the Sylph's divinity in particular, you did well to draw the conclusion. Your intriguing minds have taken you far, child of man, and they will take you further still. Yeah. The Fist of Ragnar is um, of interest in the region of Papagia Albania. The literally is an um, area called Ragnar's Reach with the altar for him. And he's a bit actually co um, connected to like the monk class, which I have not leveled that much yet. <laughs> At least unlocked it. But hey. I'm... It, midi classes are like the one I like to play the least as, to be honest. So yeah. No surprise there. I think you actually can see which classes I prioritize. Healers. Mages, then range DPS. <laughs> and I actually find tanks more interesting than melee classes, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we have a Seema. Just a really cool design, not gonna lie. Ah, Tamamo, at least you've come. <laughs> I was right to entrust your several scholar companion with the message. Uh, since our first meeting, I knew that I simply must see you again. There is something familiar about you. You awaken forgotten feelings in me. Being a set once mortal like embers amidst the ashes. Perhaps you resemble someone I knew long ago, yet whatever the reason, the presence gives me comfort and warmth. May your light ever burn bright. Hmm. I actually have an idea who she's probably referring to, but it wouldn't mean much to you anyway if I would like actually say who. Especially since I'm actually struggling to remember the name at the moment. Assam, I think, was it? And Nata. He's like the um, guardian deity, you could say, or the Uldan region. Tao, we bid you welcome. Know that thou, though we appear to be uh, two beings, a dual aspect divinity, that was not always so. Man hopes, harbors power, and was this faith of an old millennia that shaped us into our present form. In answer to your faith, we, the traders, shall watch over mankind as he strives for that which he desires. Hmm. Do we have one for this gate yet? No. Mm, not here either, and there neither as well. Then let's check the earth gate. Nothing. Also, Nelta also is actually really cool this sign. Um, well, 
Why, if it isn't Tamamo, you wish to speak, do you? Tell me, have you ever met an elemental? Yep, you do. Many hold, hold that they were born of me. And as I mentioned, they are the boys of those who abide in the trail spot. At times, they may seem excessive in their actions, but it is out of an abundance of love. So pray be good to them and heed their warnings. And yeah, she's kind of like the weird here in the Quidanian region. Oh, fuck yeah. Tamamo, is it? I must say there's something to be said for being summoned by your mortal. The life of man is but a drop in the great river of time. Thus are you and yours who want to rush ahead, not wasting a single moment. But be that as it may, certain sights will only come into view if one stops to look. So be not afraid to pass the time in ways which at first may not seem fruitful. Should you dare to do so, you may well be visited by an eye-opening experience, such as the richness of time. This lesson I learned in another, another life from an unexpected visitor. Actually, I'm not sure in which region Africa is actually revered in. I was not that deep into like the tribes law myself, but yeah. Where now, if it isn't my dear Tamamo, how good for you to call me. I'm sorry if I gave you a shock by joining my brother in battle, but I couldn't help myself. We always done everything together, he and I. <laughs> it happens. As a, uh, such a joy it was to face you and yours. You displayed the self same determination that allowed you to defy fate. It was one surprise after another. I can't help but feel as though I spoke similar rules long ago. Who was it too, I wonder? Also, yeah, um, actually, like, the Alliance raid this time around have been about actually fighting against all of them in, in, in way of trials to test our strength, but hey. That what RPGs love to do, throwing gods at you and say it is a trial to test your strength, but hey. Oh, hey there, little bunny. Actually, where's my pet not out? Mm. Where's my cute fox minion? Ah! Minions are not allowed here. Sad. How about the art? Some of me, Tamamo. This is no less than I expected from you. I recognize of you well in, uh, in recognition of you well and deeds. I offer a word of counsel. Where do I know the power of man's hope, of mortal faith, and there is no faith that I reject? Yet in every age there are those who invoke the name of the divine for their own ends. Be not misled by them. She's like having a similar. Now that I've like, yesterday I actually like finished um, Crisis Core on stream, and I also already did the Super Boss against Minera. They actually have quite similar designs, and it also re 
it's also a common like design theme for um, characters called Athena <laughs> in other RPGs. Like the Grand Blue Fantasy version of her uh, looks similar just in red. And in Persona as well. <laughs> the office is like similar like design theming. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. I was actually like curly sign. It's like a bit more, you could say, simpler again compared to Aerodus, but it's also like really cool. Oh, Tamamo, what a life for surprise. You wish to see me, did you? Your beautiful and benevolent patron? Ah, true. You actually get to decide. Um, when you're creating a character, which of the 12 you're like aligning your character with, it's actually having not really any impact on gameplay or story or anything. It's just more like of a gimmick, but I've actually aligned my character with Menfina, so yeah. <laughs> I'd really grateful that we can talk like this. As you know, I'm the goddess of love. Yeah, that obviously doesn't mean I have a monopoly on love. For instance, my br uh, brother and love mankind with all their hearts, just like me. <laughs> and whether or not uh, um, Osharon is my beloved as mortals believe, I have more than enough room in my heart for everyone, be it men or gods. I love you all alike. And needless to say, I love my adorable Dalamut too, whom you and yours gifted to me. I'm actually gonna see this on the... Is it actually uh, any particular on the character profile? Yep, here. Guardian. Infinite the Lover. This is like... <laughs> oh, the one I've aligned with. And with that, we've actually talked to all that uh, I've actually already met for all of like this story, side story quest. Spoken to your satisfaction, have you? Then let us await Cry and Quiet here together. Wait with Derek? Yep, we do. Nothing else we can do for now. Hmm, still no sign of them. Alright, there's some fun thing I've been meaning to ask you. As an adventurer, you are better traveled than most. Of the places you have seen, what kind you like best? Hmm, this thing helps remove victory. Natural resistance, but by man. When you encounter some weight, quite best as we can try. I will answer when you encounter some weights. But like I said, the most willing answer. Uh, yes, I can imagine giving given to such. The thrill of visiting unknown places is something I can understand. I myself am partial to wandering in wars here. So rich and evil, this land and um, possessed of so many aspects. Just when I was traveling through the trails road that I encountered this fellow. I knew not how we came to be injured and alone, but I couldn't turn a blind eye. His long since recovered and I probably should have returned him to his forest home. But when I see him here, undaunted in the presence of gods, I can't help but fear the hate that delivered him to me. His cute little companion. So the day will come when you must go our separate ways. They're finally here, everyone. Took them long enough. Welcome back. How fared your work? 
It took longer than we anticipated, but we managed to compile our findings and then still liberate a course of action. Indeed, here on we would do well to tread with caution. The waveforms we recorded with the etheric analyzer revealed an unsettling occurrence. In the course of fighting us, the gods expanded a tremendous amount of their ether, so much as to dilute their very essence. That's kind of... Yeah, I'm missing the right word right now, but... Yeah, kind of ridiculous of them, I guess. Lest you have done no wrong, Townward, the gods themselves wish to fight, after all. That being said, we should avoid engaging in further battle until we learn more about the true objective. To that end, we will seek out the 13th unnamed being whose duty is to watch unflinching. If Ra is correct and we have no reason to believe otherwise, that being is the Watcher on the Moon. You are pleased to know that I've already acquired permission to use the Tower of Babel from the Isabad contingent, who oversee the structure with the Galian people's sleeve. Where are we going then? To the moon? Usa! <laughs> I wonder what the Watcher is like. If there are no other matters, then let us set forth at once. If they wish to speak with the guards, best to seek them out now. They may not be there later. We always spoke to them, so that's fine. Hit my headphones again, my microphone there. Smart me. Uh, uh, also, let me do... Uh, come on. Do it for a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to check some private messages. Ah, there's my cute little fox pet. <laughs> of course, there's a fox as my pet. Also, I also can have a big for um, what about head fox as a mount? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of cool mounts. There's some mounts that are actually like uh, cooler, which I don't own yet, but eventually you wanna like acquire. <laughs> Greetings, Island Champion. You're ever welcome here, as are your companions. It's a pleasure to meet you, Watcher. We come hoping that you would answer some questions for us. Questions about Hydaelyn. We've deciphered the monument at the heart of the Phantom Realm, in addition to the names and duties of the Twelve. It speaks of one who is unnamed, who shall watch unflinchingly. Are we correct in assuming that that individual is you? The Twelve have existed for errors. If you know all about them, will you not share your knowledge with us? They have a desire which they claim can only be fulfilled through battle with mankind. We wish to understand what it is. Please. So man has managed to come this far. Very well, you have earned the right to know. Remember, however, that I'm but a creation. Though I have been imbued with some memories of the past, they are far from complete. First of all, I'm indeed the unnamed being the monument describes. 
an entity created by Hydrolin to serve a purpose alongside the Twelve. Together, they were charged with preserving equilibrium on a sundered and unstable star. Like myself, they were given shape from people who once existed. And like myself, they believed that the world should be entrusted to the new life that had emerged. While I do not possess detailed memories of that time, we now selected those she deemed best suited to their respective duties. That will explain why the Twelve appear to have personalities like mortals. The men and women they once were influenced the personalities, yes, but so too did the faith of mortals. Knowingly or no, when men pray, they will the object of their worship to assume a form that can better grant them their heart's desire. In this manner have the twelve been shaped over eons into images that fit men's ideals. The right Ra, hopes and prayers have the power to influence the gods. Yet even as they thus change at Vinaya's behest, they would have refrained from intervening in mortal affairs. As a result, there will have been times when they acted in ways that are contrary to our expectations. Also, okay, come back to mods, uh, mods for, uh, for a moment. Have you ever played the Monsanto games, Shana? By now the title is no more and the final days are averted, the Twelve have arrived at a decision regarding their fate all their own. It is not for to reveal the truth of their desire. I can however guarantee that it will not visit harm upon mankind. Nay, far from it. That emo isn't telling me if you have or not. <laughs> but I for one felt that God's meant us ill. To have your guarantee as well, we couldn't possibly doubt them anymore. It is most assuring to confirm the connection between you and the Twelve. With this, we may proceed in our quest with easier uh, hearts. Ah, I said. Then I could have like, shown something fun. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. We shall return to the uh, uh, Omphalos and continue engaging with your brethren. That is well. As I watch on, I shall pray that the tale comes to a happy conclusion for gods and men alike. May journey be fulfilling. What I actually um, was aiming at with that question. Question. Wait, let me check if I have it. Yes. There's Ravalos as a mount in this game. Which is a dragon. Which is a monster. Which is like almost synonymous with Monster Hunter at this point, since it's like literally in almost every Monster Hunter game. And kind of the poster child for Monster Hunter. And you not only have him as a mount, you actually have a fight against him in this game as well. Which I actually need to do to get them out. Which is... Um, yeah, the Great Hunt. It's the Ravalos fight. So now I actually have to teleport back to Rima first. This means back to Moderna. <laughs> Thank you. 
This actually stems from a uh, collaboration between uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Monster Hunter World. What Monster Hunter World got instead was a uh, behemoth fight and, uh, and the Dragoon armor, which looks really cool in Monster Hunter. Which I actually have in Monster Hunter World, <laughs> since I've played Monster Hunter World as well. <laughs> Something is amiss. The gods' avatars are nowhere to be seen. That's because our preparations are complete. I really need the last set of cards. But it's actually only two. I uh, have waited so bloody long for this moment. Limlian, I uh, such uncouth words the first you should speak unto our guest. Holy oh, of Taliak, you can't tell me if you're not as excited as I am. I would be first to admit my joy, but on such a momentous occasion I would act with due pro propriety. Well met, children of men. This our standing that you have spoken with the watcher and ascertained our true nature. Indeed, we were created by Heidelin to tend the star. Having built the um, fellows at its heart and our sanctum throughout evil rich Erosia, we labored to preserve the balance of reality. All of this we have learned, but there is still one thing we do not understand. Our analysis of the Phantom Realm revealed that you and yours dilute your very selves by fighting us. Would this not impede your ability to carry out your duties? We appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. <laughs> it's been one of the trials all along. Likewise, I knew that you harbor suspicion as to my true identity. I am a brother who used various creatures as the avatars. I chose the form of a man. To better to share in your solitude. And it fell to me. The Wanderer to beckon unto the Amphalos they who could grant our wish. <laughs> what? 
How could you hide such a thing from us? Had you known my true identity and our purpose, we feared that you would refuse to fight us. But our fears were unfounded. You feeded our request and despite the hardships endeavored to grant it. Forgive me, Tomo, but I must leave the little fellow in your care. In the innermost part of our realm, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. I wait you are coming with bated breath. This is our grandest moment, mortal. Gird your loins and leave at us. I shall receive you with my all. Be as a raging torrent, child of man. Can someone give it a pet, please? Fine, then I will do it. Oh, wait. Why do I have Capstar again? There you go. <laughs> so Derek is the Ronder, the deity who shares immense solitude. And in order to beckon us to the Phantom Realm, he posed as an explorer and solicited the aid of the sons of St. Cornac. In spite of this, I do not feel as though I have been deceived, nor do I harbor any resentment, rather, I simply feel sad. I understand, this is this as if a dear friend were suddenly spirited far away. In hindsight, perhaps it was an expectation of the coming battle that he had kept man at arm's length. Oh, I imagine it must be even harder for you. But you know that one of the trails walked among us. It makes me want to do the best we can via them. I. Since time immemorial, the Twelves have watched all, all, all who abide on the star. And even as they fulfill their purpose of maintaining stability as beings possessed of sentience, they also heeded the hearts of men. So let us likewise heed their hearts and do our utmost to grant them their desire. Then I believe we all know what comes next. <laughs> By all indications, this will be the final foray into the guard sanctum. This task we entrust to you and your adventurer friends once more, Tamamo. And there's no telling what may happen afterwards. I shall remain on guard here. Twice now you've triumphed and I have faith that you will do so yet again. Go well, Tamamo. Voilà. Uh, yep.
Yeah, the first time I were doing an alliance raid on stream. Um, it we could may expect a mess if since it will be with a lot of players, but before we start that, I will actually do a short toilet break. So I'm gonna be right back in a bit. And I'm back. So now actually let me switch back to the scholar because I want to buy scholar for this. Thank you. Um, there we go. Let's see how long the wait will be. In the meantime, I actually may just check on my retainers for a bit. To more adventure, like quick explorations. I also check on what items they are selling. Uh, I'm actually pretty bright, so I uh, can start going one of the two that's still left in there. Mm -hmm. Also, probably won't need most of these crafting items. I like the Kong Final Fantasy 16 music in the background. Who's that idiot who puts all of these materials in for like just one gill? What can I actually do with this item? Richard has proven that wearing a knapsack or a similar crate reduces the likelihood of being passed up with questions about how you can carry so many items. Used to acquire a knapsack. Okay. Acquired a knapsack personal effect. Oh, wait. Is this what I think it is? Uh. That is a fashion accessory. <laughs> okay, I like this. That's cool. Oh, also can be uh, an evil devil if I like to. Or a pretty little pixie. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like to speak uh, the gimmicks. <laughs> Mm. Okay, of course we are waiting for our damage dealers. Actually, why are we doing for damage dealers? It's rare to have to wait for damage dealers. Also, I haven't checked on um, my chocobos for a while. Few details. You could be ranked up again. Okay. You come here. Just something we can uh, get outside. That was stupid. I just need to look for a Fafnarian onion. <laughs> mm. That's what I'm doing right now. There's like a level system for you on Chocobo, uh, which you can like have fight alongside you. And there's like a passive XP gain if you like leave them in the stables at your like your guild home. And since I've been away for so long, and my guild is actively tending to the chocobos, I actually gained XP all the while. Mm. So, uh, onion, onion, but they're still so expensive. Can't even like afford one of them at the moment. But actually. Let me check. We may have some of them in our guild house we can use. No, oh, that's not that's what I was looking for. have one but I can use them. Also do have some crystals that maybe can like give them here you go. Let's restock them so some of the crystals for the guild. Mm-hmm. 
Come on. It can it can leave the stage real well at this point. Come on. That's okay, interesting. Make your way through our watery sanctum. Let us see how you fare against my servants. Oh, yes, all of those are different players. <laughs> this is a 24 man raid. <laughs> Who's screaming my eyes? <laughs> Only to be expected for they who vanquished my pupil, Byrga. It shall be my pleasure to welcome you personally. I have looked forward to this moment, children of man. The scholar shall measure your depth of knowledge. Why is he such, like, happy music? The rivers rage at my behest. Not all knowledge is wisdom. Of ignorance. 
I'm sure it's happening now, but let flow the waters of your mind. Seek new perspectives, and you shall find new paths. So now, so far, nothing too like bad. All the mechanics are so far rather obvious. Small wonder the others have exalted so. Got hit by something extra there. Share with me your ruminations. Ah, I see. I know it's a bit too late once actually we can guess about, but hey. Not all answers can be obtained through might. But now I understand. Or is also mixing it with black blank, which is mean. Stuff, so I'm a pass for now. Let me prepare a suitable stage for our union. This looks also really cool. You're fighting her underwater. All right. I'll teach you the ways of navigation. Why not?
to be getting a Soka Auto Soka attack. Also, to be get better. Where does where did my ears go? She's a bit meaner with her mechanics, but still not that bad. I didn't pay attention to those. I forgot about a dragon star being on the field still. Let's hope we get rest by some of the other alliances, please. You can surely do better than that. Okay, someone someone uh, casting a rest on me. Together as one. 
it falls to you and yours to navigate the seas ahead. After all this time, it feels Aww. strange calling to you thus. Very flying. Thank you. Okay. For making it this far. Okay. <laughs> Not long now. Till our journey together must end. A bit of random, but okay. Very fighting Ashran. Who's the last two we are fighting now after him then? I am the last of us to face you. I expected he would do it would do attacks. But okay. It's an interesting mechanic because you need to have some awareness. What's it doing now? Okay. Your prayers have given us strength. He's seeding the arena in two hearts. Why not? Oh, the wonder. 
Um, I'll try the AE of this attack slugs. Ah, just a big seer. Good to know. Okay, this is being quite continuous. I would just jumped off there. Ah, the sweet soul of Parton. I beg you, stay the course to the end. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, we're actually being whisked out here. You're back. The Omphalus. It's suddenly transformed. Servants? What's the meaning of this? Those ones, I leave to you. Okay, now fight. Stay here with the others. Oh, yeah, I'm actually curious what's happening here now. Uh... Someone has been, a bit, has been a bit early on pulling them, I guess. Oh, wow. Thanks could actually interrupt them, I see. entrusted the future to you and yours as entities charged with ensuring life on Aetheris 
We rejoice in this outcome with all our hearts. Someone pre pulled the fight. I watch a cutscene anyway. I don't care. This looks really cool. Tis time, beloved children. Time to bid farewell to the relics of the past. I'm not sure if I want to stay within the arrows. I see. Sort of has a can I already know? How did that one go again? All right. We have to remember all of the mechanics of the previous fights for this one.
Okay, I'll take the bleeding. I'm on here also, yeah. A lot of visuals going on. What's happening now? Not much. <laughs> She's done anyway. That was a cool fight. Even though there was uh, visually a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just can get one piece. I didn't get anything. How sad. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Tomo, oh, are you red? Thanks for clearing the way, Tomo. That being, I presume, is the 12. You've done well, children of men. As promised, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. Our desire simply does to give ourselves unto the star is a blessing.
In the 12th millennia we have existed, we have come to harbor tremendous power through prayers. Through battle, our essence shall unravel and return to the star, where it might give rise to new life. Such is our final gift to you. You mean you disappear? Yes, the fragment of our former souls which serve as the core of our existence shall, shall rejoin the live stream. Yet though we may fade from sight, our individuality lost, our stabilizing influence shall endure. The only thing to change is where your prayers find their way. Henceforth it shall be this, the instrument of blessing that receives of more that receives us mortal hopes, hopes that shall be given back to the star. But your presence brings comfort to mankind. Everyone would wish for you to remain. Must you truly fade away? Such kind of things you say, child. We must confess what we do, we also do for ourselves. When mankind overcame the final day, it so moved us that even we, who are but constructs, knew the greatest joy. You have shown your unfaring love for the world. In return, we would show our undying love for you. Or not, myths are wont to be woven and passed down. So long as men hold the twelve in fondness, we shall live on in your faith in us. When you say such things, The moment of parting is come. By our blessing, may you march towards a brighter future. Farewell, beloved children. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? May the fond of your ingenuity ever flow. Use us the strength to destroy all obstacles. Abide in virtue and hold fast to the truth. There is a meaning in your deeds. Celebrate life and embrace death. May you flourish and reap a bountiful harvest. In your limited time, have boundless compassion. Carry yourself with honor and forge on towards victory. Harbor love in your heart for yourself, for others, and for the world. From past to future, the river of knowledge flows. Be part of its nourishing waters. May a wonderful new world greet you beyond destiny's horizon. By calm as the ocean, and you shall weather any storm, be calm. As the wind blows unfettered, may you be free to follow your heart. You don't agonize so, Oshon. Remain with them if that be your desire. 
But this is what we've dreamed of, to return to the star together. I just, I never imagined that I would grow so fond of them. The partying would be so hard. Long as we have abided in patience to rejoin the live stream. For the drop in the river of time that is man's fleeing time. Why not share your fate with them? Follow your heart as you ever have. And when the time comes, we shall meet again. I've decided to continue churning a while longer. That's a sweet little ending to their story. First can't really express my surprise when I open my eyes to see Derek standing there. I'm naturally curious as to what happened, but above all, I rejoice for her dear friend returned. Twelve with blessing farmer's kid. <sighs> what to say in such a moment? Best to speak from the heart, I suppose. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> the thumbs up from Kra. And we're glad to have you back. Glad, highly suffice to describe it. We are over the moon that you're still here, Derek. I shall call you Arshan. I no longer have Arshan's power. Derek will do. It was made from the portion of an essence that wasn't returned to the star, and will live out my days as a man. May I ask what happened? No sooner had the twelfth vanished and you reappear reappeared before us. At the very last, I couldn't bear it. Couldn't bear to say farewell. Your honest friendship had weighed down my steps. And the little fellow's fervent call hauled at him. I was overwhelmed by the keenest longing to reign among you and see more of the world I love. Upon seeing me torn, my preference bade me to f follow my heart. I need no further urging. We created the instrument of blessing, the faith that one day the star would no longer need our guiding hand. Thanks to you, the day has finally come. Ah, uh, what a ramble. How uncharacteristic. How un uncharacteristic. Let us head back to Omphalos, shall we? Da -da -da -da.
Well, we must return to Charlien. The farm will be expecting a report. Yet, if the entire truth were to be revealed to the public, it would shake the very founding of the worship of the Twelve. Aye, in penning our report, you would do well to consult the forum on what details are safe to disclose. Much pertaining to the field of mythology, you will need to be obfuscated, I fear. Very not on my account. Inspired by our findings, I have a mind to examine the Twelve in the context of research of reception theory. The people's perception of deities are wont to be informed by the culture. By comparing the difference across areas and regions, I believe you may uncover here four unseen aspects to the Twelve. Reception theory, you say? Most intriguing. I should like to see the fruits of your research when I visit Charlie. When you do, have care not to reveal who you used to be. Our scholars would be all over you like starved beasts. <laughs> She's true about that. I see, perhaps I shall wait a while before I come calling. Before I came to you, assembly roamed the world. I had no objective, nothing I wished to find. If the second chance I have, I mean to undertake my travels with a renewed perspective. But here I set out. Would move my prophet's hopes elsewhere to a place in man's midst. Oh, what a wonderful idea. If you don't mind, we should like to accompany you. By all means, we may make for the Sanctum of the Twelve in the East Shroud. Alright, East Road it is. Oops, I cancelled the teleportation. All right. Yeah, of course, this area. You can actually have your in-game marriages. <laughs> this is actually a thing here. Uh, no matter how many times I was at the Sanctum, its majesty never fails to move me. And a rich history. Originally built during the dawn of the fifth Ezra era, it was reclaimed by the wood before being restored in the wake of the Calamity. Truly, it stands as a testament to the influence that magical civilizations and city-states have had upon Eorzean culture. The sanctum harbors the hopes of man, and now those of my preference shall join him. If you're not averse, I will speak a little of, of my preference, that is, those individuals whose essence lend them form. As it pertains to another age, some concepts may be foreign to you. But would you be interested in that, Excellent.
Beauregard was a man with a gift for creating inanimate objects such as buildings and furnishings. With his ability, he served a supervisor role at the Bureau of the Architect, where he was nothing short of a pillar. His chief was carefree to a fault, you see, and he took it upon himself to ensure the work was done. Rega was a brawny man whom Renard encountered on her travels. They quickly struck up a friendship, and he joined her on a quest uh, to destroy an enormous meteor that was hurling towards the star. It is fair to say this event gave rise to legends surrounding the destroyer. Azima was a woman who served as a judicial office in the Bureau of the Administrator, an experience which served her well as the warden. She was an ardent proponent of the seat of Assem and dreamed of training under Renard and her successor. Naltal was a close personal friend of mine, a merchant by trade. He was outwardly gregarious, but also possessed a reserved side and knew quite shy in his passion for Orn. When men began treating him as a dual aspected god, it reminded me of the person he used to be, and I couldn't help but be struck with the pang of nostalgia. Novika was a landscape architect of great repute, uh, great repute, who grew plants gathered from the star over. Despite being skilled in magic, she preferred to nurture plants as nature intended, and her garden ever bloomed with beautiful flowers. Our visitor were set to leave with the salt soft. Alfig was a researcher who observed newly made creations in Alpes. He possessed mastery over time magics and was known to be a kind hearted if reticent man. We actually visited Alpes. Although it was at his sister's urging that he first joined our faction, he soon became a stalwart believer in the cause and always took the initiative in discussion. Helon was a formidable warrior tasked with hunting creations that were deemed detrimental to the star. For her prowess, she had been regarded as a leading candidate for the seat of Pashtarod, preserver of discipline and order. Menfina was the youngest among us, a student affiliated with the worlds of La Brea at the Academia in Ida. Even with the prestigious institution, she was considered a prodigy, and hers were the lands that created the magics to isolate and seal Zodiac. Ooh, actually got interesting. Faliak was the headmaster of uh, the Academia in Ida, a man of learning and leadership both. He presided over the institution's myriad faculties. No known phenomenon existed in which he wasn't versed. Words do not do justice to express the remarkable scholar that he was. Nemea was an observer in Elpis, like her older brother Alfig. She possessed a caring and inquisitive nature and was liked and trusted by her peers. They said that she began the custom of offering flowers to the departed. Lemlian was a researcher at the Metabasios Talasai, a facility for the observation and evaluation of sea life. So passionate was she about her work, she once threw a knife at someone who inadvertently came too close to her observation subject. <laughs> Ashan was a traveler whom Renard encountered in the wilderness. They shared a campfire and discussed at length what it meant to be free. Leaving my hopes as the wanderer in this place, I shall set forth anew as simply a man named Derek. And last but not least, the Watcher. He was the chief archivist at Amnesi uh, Anamnesis Anida, and respected Vena deeply as an individual, even as he cared for her as a dear friend. Indeed, among our number, none was more devoted to Vena and that the uh, devotion made him best suited to his duty and the solitude that accompanies it.
That is all. This is a lot to remember, but I should be glad if they remain with you in some way. I regret that you would share with us these new aspects of Heidelin and the Twelve. Thank you. Well, it is past time we head back to Charlian. It wouldn't do to keep Ochika waiting. I assume you'll be traveling via Lunsa or Windsor, in which case allow us to see you off from there. Till now, I have wandered alone, but as I recently learned, a journey is better shared. There's actually like sweet little extra lore surrounding Venar and Tidal and, and everything. And fitting that the 12 turned out to be whatever. Hey, let's jump back to Limsa. The lyric should be just over there. Ah, right behind that pillar over there, or like wall. Our friends are presently booking the passage. That's where you were. There's room aboard the next ship, so we'll be setting sail shortly. Oh, Derek, no sooner do we arrive in a crowded place than you up and disappear. <laughs> of course he does. Ah, uh, there's a force of habit in order to avoid people. But I needn't do so anymore, do I? On the contrary, I should embrace the chance to connect with other souls. As a comrades, we completely agree. And remember, you're always welcome at the Badassian Annex, so be sure to pay us a visit. You may depend on it. Thank you, Derek, for giving us your trust. And thank you as well, Tamo. Had you not been with us, we would have struggled to grant the Twelve their wish. Well, we had best find our vessel. While the report remains to be compiled, I believe we can officially declare our investigation complete. Till next we meet, my friends. That will be in Toral. Do you still have time, Tamamo? Here I am back on my journey. There's a place nearby I would like to visit. Might ask you to accompany me. Thank you. Come, we shall head outside the city via the Tempest Gate. Um, by the Tempest Gate, okay. Yeah, the wind whips in from the sea like a storm, but I've always found the sensation quite invigorating. Lest you wander, I intend to strike west and thence make my way through Upper and Outer Lanosea. 
And in order to mark my new beginning as a man, en route I wish to see Arshan's embrace with you. You need only a company across the bridge. From there I shall continue on my own. Such a great wave that was ripped that ripped the god's grip from the mainland. In the wake of the calamity, my brother and I were all occupied with our respective duties. This is my very first time seeing the bridge. I just thought I heard someone out there, but no. Shall we then? Follow the seat and train, not to fall behind. Okay. It's already quite impressive to behold. So it's temporarily constructed with wood. I'm just figuring out what he's still saying there by walking. <sighs> Such an irritating breeze. I guess. Oh, a furious. Your beauty truly knows no bounds. Forgive me, I was lost in Ford. I look forward to the bridge's completion. It is a fine bridge, browsing splendid views and brimming with life, the very image of a man's determination to overcome adversity. I am honored that it should be named Oshan. Well, this is as far as I ask you to come. But if you're willing, might we converse a little more? It occurs to me I hadn't asked you about your opinion of the Twelve. How you personally perceive us, for instance. What you felt when you faced us. Your words from the heart I would take with me as a memento. Is it so? The others will be glad to hear that. Thank you for humoring me, Tomo, and apologies for keeping you so long. I am ready to set forth now, to witness a world filled with our blessing. Ah. To begin with, I shall tour Lanoseum and visit those locales which are named after the Twelve, after which I shall go wherever the wind blows. Together with this fellow, of course, until such time as he tires of my company. This time I shall embrace the joy of meeting and accept the sorrow of parting. And when the time comes for me to return to the star, I shall share my experience with my brethren. Needless to say, your wills will feature prominently in my recounting.
He's really making it hard on himself to part with us, Jesus. <laughs> you will continue your own journeys, will you not? Then I shall look for you out there. Pay you well, my friend, and may the twelve bless you and keep you. Most of the realm completed. The values of certain deities about the twelve are now available for purchase from Duramid, Duramid in the pillars. Those of the remaining deities are working works in progress. Okay. Oh, oh. Here are Duramid in the pillars again. Probably Madonna, if I'm guessing correct. Um, or not? Uh, I don't remember where that was, <laughs> but hey, um, yeah. <sighs> I will find it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> But, with that, I will also be ending the stream here. Had quite a lot of fun with finishing up the rest of this little story. Again, as I'm just starting off with streaming, you may be missing context, but might be missing out a bit on the enjoyment, I feel. Um, I would just say it will be a thing you have to bear with uh, before a little, um, while I'm just like catching up on um, stuff in preparation for Dawn Trail. But as I said, hopefully once we reach Dawn Trail, we will... Um, probably be able to enjoy the story to carry the sense that will be a s a sort of a new beginning anyway. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I would have just do one more thing, train him, level up. Only one more level and he's about done. Um, I'll just fetch him for a moment. 
course, I want to also give him new skills. Uh, oh wait, missing that skill first. Uh, strength, there you go. And he's almost at max level actually, which is quite nice. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you liked watching along. Uh, we'll be looking for someone who we can raid. Yes, even one friend online. Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, let's look uh, into the Final Fantasy character category. Who was playing? Um, was that fun or interesting? Mm. Let's see. Of course, I'm also going to go for someone smaller and a VTuber, because why not? Mm -hmm. She looks quite cool, so we're gonna give her uh, for um, the right. And yeah, again, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching along. And I also hope I will be seeing you next time when we will be playing a bit more Final Fantasy XIV. It will be from now on more side quest stuff and optional stuff. So yeah. So my mod is a bit lagging because my PC can, has problems handling it. But I. With that being said, be nice over there at the raid. Give some love, give some support, and we will be seeing each other next time. Until then. Bye-bye.